If you want to hear some funny stories, fun, fun experiences I've had since being a healthcare worker, stay tuned. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is going to be like a chit chat video while I'm um, putting my makeup on. Um, disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. Uh, I learned everything from YouTube, so if I'm not doing something right, don't worry about it because that's not what the video is about. The video is about these funny stories that were requested by the beautiful Kiki, one of my loyal and beautiful supporters. She wanted to hear some funny stories of things that's happened at the hospital. Uh, I'm here for it. So let's get started. So I've been in healthcare. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a disclaimer. I work at different hospitals, so if some of my coworkers watching me, uh, you may know about the story, you may not. But I've worked at two different hospitals, so, uh, duh. So, you know, when people are sick, you know, we don't make fun of them or whatever. But, you know, we do have some funny stories. So, I'm going to tell you a few of the stories. Uh, most of them happen in the ER. Like, um, if you've been watching my channel a while, I've, I've uh, mentioned a couple of these stories, but I'm going to tell you again. So... We had a patient to come into the ER and the patient was very confused. Well, that's what the paramedics told the doctor. The patient was confused. And so the doctor went in to do his examination. So he was trying to, you know, assess the patient to see if they um coherent to person, what who they are, place, and things. So <laughs> the the patient was kind of hard of hearing too. And so the doctor went in and he um one of my favorite doctors too. He went in and asked the patient, he was talking to the patient just like this, where are you? And the patient said, I'm right here. <laughs> I was rolling. Of course, you want the patient to say what hospital they in or what city they in or whatever. But the patient was like, I'm right here. And the doctor was like, when they got that kind of sense of humor, they all right. They ain't sick. But anyway, so the patient, you know, he answered the question. I mean, yes, where are you? The patient said, I'm right here. So that's the first funny story in the ER. And so the second one was, um, and then I think of some more throughout the video, but I'm going to tell you these two funny stories that's right off the top of my head. Uh, the other, uh, we had a patient to come in and the doctor asked the patient, um, uh, <laughs> uh, what brings you to the hospital? Like, in other words, what's wrong with you? And the patient said, uh, the ambulance brings me to the hospital. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I mean, they're my first, they're my Two funny stories for now. I, if I think of another one before I end this video, then I'll tell you. So anyway, also I wanted to talk to y'all about uh, something that's been on my mind. I wanted to share it because the purpose of me sharing it, you know, is not just to tell my business. You know, whenever I share something, it's not to tell my business because remember, I'm allowing God to use me. I mean, so I don't have any business. My business is his business. And the purpose of me sharing information most of the time, well, like this time, is to encourage someone else. It's not always about you. It's always about somebody else. So, go ahead and get that little part out the way. So, guess what I've decided after consulting my husband and doing some soul searching and just realizing I'm not getting any younger. I'll be 48 years old this year, y'all. And so, what I've decided to do is I want to do YouTube full time. Yes, I said it full time because I love it. Because... Y'all probably saying, man, V, you ain't got but like 1,900 subscribers. The subscribers ain't got nothing to do with it, baby. This is something that I want to do. What re reason why I came to the conclusion, number one, is because if you live in, everybody that's living in this life, I'm sure it's something you want to do if you're not already doing it. To me, to live 40, 50 years and not do some of the things that you want to do to me is you just existing. This is just my opinion. This is just me talking to my um, alter ego. So it's not directed to anybody. So I'm telling, so Miss V is talking to um, Diamond, telling her, okay, so y'all pretend. I need y'all to pretend. Let's have some fun. Okay. This is Miss V talking to her alter ego. My alter ego is Diamond. Okay. So, this is Miss V talking. Telling Diamond. Now, you got pregnant at the age of 15. You're not blaming anybody but yourself. That was your own fault because your mom told you not to go around that corner while she was at work. But you went on anyway. So, that's your fault. Okay. So, you had your child. 
And so you didn't have a childhood because you were disobedient. And so you had to grow up fast because you had a child and your mama let you know that she wasn't going to be keeping no children, you know, only going to school or work. So you messed up your childhood by being disobedient. Then in your 20s, you ran and jumped and married somebody that you knew you didn't love. You fell in love with them later. So your whole 20s, you were married. Okay. Then in your 30s, you dating. I hear in the day, you ain't don't know anything about the street life. And just dating different people and getting disappointed. And so at some point, you decide to pray for a husband. And God sent you your husband at the age of 40. Okay. Here we at. This is where we at now. So I did all that. So I'm 40, I'm going to be 48 years old. Children grown, grandchildren doing their own thing. So I said, it's time for me to do something for myself. That's how I came to the conclusion I want to do YouTube full time. And when I say full time, I mean put, get serious about it. Like taking a class on how to run a YouTube channel. And, you know, of course I would like to make some good money if I can. But that's fine if I don't because this is something I, I truly love to do. This is my passion. I like inspiring people. I like helping people. I like challenging myself, coming up with um, different ways to save money, different ways to decorate my home on a budget. I just love doing that kind of stuff. So to be real, if I didn't make a penny, it would be okay. But of course, you'd be dis I'd be disappointed because I know it's some money I didn't be made because I can use that money to put back into my channel. So I work a full-time job where I work three 12-hour shifts, but I don't have to be full-time because my husband carries the insurance and all that. So if it really came to it, I really don't have to be full-time as a healthcare worker when God gets ready for me to do that part. But for now, when I say full-time, I'm saying the four days that I'm off, put all of, you know, of course, spend time with my family and all that, put all my energy into my channel. Like now, I just put the energy into it when I had a day off, which is like one day a week now. Because I got a part-time job. And plus, there's another reason why I want to go full-time. Because that part-time job, it is not for me. I'm just going to say it like that. I love my career. But the way this hospital is set up, oh, no. It's not for me. It's not good for you. Oh, they pay you some good money. They pay you real good. This is the most. No, nah, I ain't going to say it's the most I've made. It's, it's almost the most money I've made as a therapist. But, baby, you're going to be using that money for them co-pays when you go to the doctor and when you uh, go get your prescription. Because, baby, that place, I'm just putting to you like, um, it's too much. It's too much. I can't do it. I can do it. I choose not to do it. I'm going to do what I want to do. I messed up. Well, I ain't going to say I messed up my life. I made some bad decisions early in my life. So now it's time for me to start making some good decisions. So Miss V is thinking about going full-time. What I plan to do, this is July 2019, this is my plan. I'm talking to God. And he's going to direct my path. But this is Miss V's plan. I'm going to take a break at some point. I'm going to take like two weeks off, a month off, however long it takes. I'm going to enroll in one of these classes like Sean Connell, some of them tech guys, and just go into one of their master classes and just learn different ways to shoot good videos I want good quality videos. I know my videos, they okay. Y'all nice and everything says good video. I appreciate y'all, but nah, I want it to be crisp. I want it. If I'm going to do something, I want to do 100%. So, I'm going to take a break. I don't know when. Whenever um, I do a little research and see how much the class is going to cost and how long it's going to take. I'm going to do a little research, work on me some better equipment. And Miss V finna do this thing because I enjoy this. I enjoy the feedback. I enjoy the um I enjoy the um relationships I'm building and guess what y'all I'm about to get my first check four months later but you know what I'm saying every little bit helps but I am about to get serious and I am about to do something I really want to do my husband's so happy about it cause um you know he my number one cheerleader he don't want me to get this second job anyway so that was right up his alley he was glad to do that and he loved to help me with my videos when I asked him so, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Well, I ain't going to say that's what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, the Bible said, call on those things as though they are. I will be a full-time YouTube creator here at least in 2020. It might take me the rest of 2019 to get everything set up, but that's my plan because I really enjoy doing this. So, with the help of 
the Holy Spirit. I'm going to do this. And I learned, too, what I'm going to do, too. The trolls, I'm not going to block them because they, they may be here for some help, y'all. So I can't turn them away now unless they just do some ignorant. Now you do some racist type stuff or just some ignorant stuff. I'm going to have to block you. But just, just because they give me a rude comment, I have decided with the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, I'm not going to block them. I'm going to still talk to them just like I'm talking to ones of you all who give me good comments. Because that may be part of my ministry. I had to realize that. Because, you know, first of all, my feeling is not supposed to be in it anyway. Because this is a ministry. God, I'm allowing God to use me, my vessel, my body, my channel to bring people to him. So I got to realize that. So, you know, I know who I am as an individual. So when somebody say something, you know, I already know who I am. So that should involve me. So I let my feeling get involved with that rude comment. And I won't be doing that again. So that's what Miss V going to be doing. I'm excited about it, y'all. So I want to do everything the right way. I'm going to focus. The reason why I'm going to take off because I got to focus, focus, focus. Not that y'all are the distraction, but I get distracted. When I do something, I like to focus, focus, focus on that particular thing. How I'm focusing on my debt-free journey now, I want to focus, focus, focus on becoming a full-time YouTuber. And I don't even know what the um criteria is for a full-time YouTuber. I'm, I'm going to get my own criteria. My full-time is going to be four days a week. That's going to be full time for me. And at some point, hopefully, I'll be able to quit that part-time job. That's the goal, too. So, once I put all my energy and my resources into my channel, when I start seeing, you know, some changes, then I'll know that it's time for me to quit that part-time job. Because, baby, that ain't for me. Mm-mm. Like one of my um, co-workers, you said, mm-mm. No, not for me V, y'all. So what y'all got going on? That's what that's what me V that's what me V working on. Still doing my debt free journey. I'm finna get ready to record a video telling telling everybody my our um progress, whether or not we paid off any debt in the month of June. And so that's what I'm getting ready to do. And I also am getting ready to reveal who the YouTube Appreciation Award goes to. For the month of June. I'm so behind. See, I'm so behind this June. What is it? July 10th. I ain't. Baby, I ain't did none of that. Too busy working. But some changes finna come. So, anyway, I'm trying to think of a uh, one more um, funny story before I let y'all go. Because I'm finna get all cute on y'all. And show y'all a video. Show y'all a picture at the end. So much. So many funny things that happened at the hospital. Baby. I don't know. I love it, though. I love it. But anyway, what y'all y'all tell me in the comment section what y'all think about me um doing this YouTube full time. Y'all can be honest. I appreciate honesty. I really like Instagram, y'all. Only thing I wish they'll change about Instagram where you can link your actual video, you know, in the comment section. I guess I need to email them and give them some suggestions. So if y'all on Instagram, wouldn't you like for that to be a feature where you can link your, um, people don't have to go to your bio. They can click right there on the, um, picture that you just shared and go straight to your channel. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to finish putting on this makeup. If I could think of another funny, um, story from the hospital, I'll be back. All right, everybody. I'm finished with my little makeup, and I don't know if y'all seen the video or not, but I did a review on this eyelash grow serum. I am so pleased with how it helped my eyelashes to grow, especially on the bottom, because all that mascara used to be on my skin. That's how I can tell that it was working. They are full now. Can you see it? I'm going to try to take a picture. But anyway, I'll have this link down in the description box. And there are, when you read the reviews, there are bad reviews on it. But people, remember, as I stated in my product review video, this product, it takes 20 days for you to start seeing some results. And I promise you, most of those people that gave those bad reviews, they probably weren't diligent for 20 days. You got to use it twice a day on your lid, the top and the bottom lid. Most people aren't diligent. You know, I had a couple days where I didn't do it twice. I didn't start seeing results until about the 10th day. 
when I was getting discouraged. So good reviews aren't always the best to um make your to help you in making a decision about products. Sometimes you just have to just go out on a limb. I look at the reviews, but I don't let that be the deciding factor because you have to um uh, know that everyone does not follow directions. So I just want to put that out there. So like I said, this will be linked in my description box. And as I've already stated on my video, I am a member of the affiliate Amazon Amazon affiliate program. So I will receive a small commission if you click on the link and order something. You don't necessarily have to order this product just if you're on Amazon through my link. So thank you all in advance. Thank you to the ones who have clicked on my link. I appreciate it. That's what I do now when I get ready to go to Amazon. I click on one of my um, supporters links to help support also. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I did think of another um, funny story. Well, it's actually from a family member told me this story while I was in the room take care of her husband. She um, told me this joke that um, this young lady um, told this. Okay. It was a young, it was a man that was sick and he was dying or whatever. And he told his wife when he died, he was very stingy. Let me go back. He was very stingy and wanted to keep all his money even when he died. So he told his wife to promise him that she would bury him with his money. And she promised him that she would bury him with his money, y'all. So whenever he died, she wrote a check to him and put it in the cast. <laughs> Pay to the order of and close the cast down, baby. She kept her promise. He died with his money. Now, do he have access to the money? Uh, that's another question. That's another thing. She honored his wishes. He said, bury me with my money. He didn't say, bury me with my money and make sure I have access to my money. So, you have to be very careful. So, that's the joke. <laughs> she wrote a check to him. So, anyway, y'all. So, Miss V is excited about becoming a, what I call a full-time YouTuber. Because I don't even use, I, I have the tube buddy, the free um, version. I don't even use all those features. That's what I'm saying. I got to I got to do some research and learn how to use these features. I don't hardly put tags on my videos. That's why I don't have like 30 or 40 views. You know, cuz I'm not utilizing the um resources that are out there. I just got to take time, stop making these videos and just go ahead and put in the effort. So that's what Miss V going to be doing. I'll let y'all know when I take a break and I of course I'll let y'all know when I'm back. So, um, this is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love and encourage you. And those are your, st those are the two stories I have, Miss Kiki. I hope they were, um, humorous to you. So, this is Miss V. I'll talk to y'all later.